Hello everyone, here is Donna, classical singer. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to talk about this inner tube or you tube in you, what I'm always talking about. And I actually wanted to make a video just for this and where I just talk and explain it, but um, it's a very specific theme, I think, and of course, uh, what I experience is maybe a bit different than what you experience or how you find it or how you find your way to sing good, uh, to have a very good access to every style and um, piece. So, and for me, it's also new. So, um, I have to say, I learn where I learned a lot of things uh, very autonome on my own and um, I just um, found how to have access to this inner tube that makes you sound very warm and, um, and soft and what you also use for the higher register for the pianissimi. So I was hearing a lot of singers um, singing um, high notes in pianissimo. I think that was where I posted on Instagram and I just wrote down that uh, is it good to hear other singers and that was the day where um, I was practicing a piece that was always working and on that day it was just not working out. And um, I said, okay, let's just um, listen to some singers and maybe I found out what's missing. And that was it. So I was coming out of this inner tube because I was so much concentrating on the position, on the French touch. So I had the this tube inside me and with this direction of... Uh, going further or having the position here in front that made me lose the place in the tube. So uh, that's why it didn't sound that warm, that, that big, that rounded. And that's why it was then difficult to uh, develop or just let go a very natural vibration of vibrato. So I just thought that because it's new for me and because it's very vague to to just say this is how it is. So I just want to share my experience and because I cannot even say, okay, I can say to myself how it is or how I found it or what should I do, but um, because I just found it out this and till now it worked out in a different way and I could do my master's music uh, that's the improvement that we learned how to sing till the end of our lives so I if, if I just or if someone says this is it how is it then maybe it's good for you for some years or or you have to take less from that and maybe someone says something else and you take more from that and then it changes so I just thought that I just make another video where I warm up, try to find this soft, rounded inner place, YouTube, and uh, with um, with more vibrato. So let's just get started. Of course, I start with uh, the edge of the voice, Randstimme. And before this video, I already did my um, breathing exercises. Nowadays, I do some, I not always do a long one. I do <clears throat> just to feel where the, the, the point is where I, um, what's the name, um, where I support, just to feel it and feel that I'm really standing on my feet and, and, that everything has also a direction downwards. I do some short s -s -s -p 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 with every vowel. So today I did that too. And 
So I activated and uh, felt my body, my muscles, and now we do the Randstimme. <clears throat> and here I start uh, very soft because, yeah, we're beginning and respect your voice, love it. There are some days, of course, that you're you're not so fit, so that's why it's important to to begin calmly and and take your time and embrace your voice that it's there. That I was, for example, uh, sick the last week, and now I'm very happy that my voice is there. <laughs> so, so yeah. And before I start, I like to prepare it with closed mouth so so I can make a smile I have my outer smile and the inner smile and I open everything up inside my head like before um, um, before you have the knees for example and I just feel that place and it's already it sounds already like my cat He likes to disturb me when I'm doing a video. I try to open it up. It's just like this and there. Also maybe here. Like I am keeping a beautiful pure pearl. And I'm caressing it and not giving it out. So I'm going to continue this. You've heard me doing Grandstimme a lot of times. So I will just do some exercises for the tongue. It's also kind of edge of the voice and it's a good exercise for the tongue so that it wakes up and does its writing thing. So maybe it's happy to do something because other times, you know, it shouldn't do anything. <laughs> So, I'm saying lungu and linga. This work is all here. So inside your the room of your mouth and where the room of your mouth and your nose uh, crosses. And a bit here. And when I go down, I'm smiling up. Okay, and of course, if I'm finding this inner tube, I always need some exercises for the position. So, I breathe less but open more, like there. Or if I wanted to sneeze. Okay. This is also important that I'm doing it soft. So, L is very good for the position, for the French touch, but you can also puts more pressure and it's not good enough or not good anymore but you can also just 
touch it really softly, that L, and actually letting it go, like inhaling that L. So very softly and not giving it out, giving it to you and grow inside. And inhale every note. Okay, another one. Put some room above it. going to do some other exercises for the yeah some normal exercises I do so and now I'm going to do Vieni o Luna I think I possibly I must have done it already in my videos this um, exercise I love to use it to for experiencing long phrases how to experience how long I can keep my breath but also ex exercising how how to think of uh, of the end of the phrase so when you have a long phrase for example with a very high note then you think the high note is the uh, is where you have to put your aim but then if you do that then you have uh, some rest of the phrase and you have no energy and no breath for the rest of it. So you always have to think where is the end of the phrase and that's where I'm going want to go. Also if you have a fermata uh, on that high note. So fermata okay but you want to go further and finish it. <coughs> so so I love to do it. Mm. So here too, <clears throat> I try to open up inside, so I'm not giving outside, because the paradox thing is, if you open up inside, of course I'm not talking about letting it fall uh, backwards, if you open up everything inside and it has, it become, it became, no, it uh, gets the light, the frequency, the sits, uh, the position, then you will sound much more, much you one can hear you much further than when you want to send everything out. When you want to send everything out, no one will hear you. <laughs> so, so that's why I'm. I I don't know if you could hear it, hear it. I will do it again. So I try to open up inside everywhere. And uh, of course, focus with this very rounded tube too. And um, I experience with the vibration, with the vibrato. So this is a new thing I wanted to tell. I think, or I imagine that the voice is like uh, smoke. So for example, in Pamina, there is this first And of course, easily you can think by singing it like Fühlst du nicht der Liebe sehnen? But already with the first note, you have to be able, be flexible to already reach the highest one, you know? So that's why I think also with Vie that it has an impulse. To begin but then but then you let it go and you let it go and you have this inner tube so where it can move where it moves and like a smoke some um, parts of it are 
reaching upwards, some are staying here, you know, so flexible. So, the last uh, exercise I didn't want you to make the video this long I'm sorry um, it's just an easy quart and with crescendo decrescendo it's also a improvement if you can loosen up your voice without falling down or without losing your vibration etc so So I'm smiling it upwards inside. I am keeping that pearl. Let's go up. was not um, prepared for the height enough. that everything is much more flexible so for example if you have an interval like this you have to think and prepare for the highest note but you shouldn't be um, afraid of take that impulse from the lower note so of course you can do like this but be prepared for that and um, after E the second E, I know I, um, so the two, zwei gestrichene E, <laughs> this E, after that E, you have to put an extra bite on that. So you can go from up, from downwards and take your body with you and make it round and big, but uh, you have to put that, that extra bite room so it can vibrate there, so it circulates in your head. So that was it, and I hope I could give you some helpful information, and I think I will do another video of this, or in my next video I will talk about this and explain this again. So thank you for watching, and have a very nice day, and see you in my next video. Bye!